in 10 minutes where we bring to you the top business news as reported on Footprint Africa. I'm Chemaka J. Uadoka and these are the headlines. Ghana, Morocco moves to enhance trade relations. Nigeria's hospitality sector offers fastest return on investment globally. And iFlix to use digital platform to market local content in Ghana. And now for stories. Ghana and the Kingdom of Morocco have signed a double tax agreement to foster bilateral trade and investment between the two countries. The move, which will come into effect in 2018, is expected to increase trade and investment between the countries by some large volumes. Statistics from the International Trade Center show that Ghana's export to Morocco as of 2015 was around $3.6 million, less than 1% of the country's total export, while imports from Morocco from the same period stood at $64 million. It is expected that once the DTA comes into force, the value of trade between the two countries could potentially increase as it will encourage businesses from both sides to venture out. The bilateral relationship between Ghana and Morocco was further deepened earlier this year following the visit of King Mohammed VI, the King of Morocco, to Ghana in February. During the visit, 25 economic and trade cooperation agreements between Morocco and Ghana were signed. Five of these agreements related to governmental business, while the remaining 20 were public-private partnership agreements, of which the DTA between Ghana and Morocco is one of such agreements that were signed during the King's visit. When the DTA becomes effective, the incidence of double taxation of income of Ghanaian residents will be eliminated by the grant of a foreign tax credit to such residents of Ghana on tax suffered on income derived from Morocco. In the case of dividends paid by a Moroccan resident company to a Ghanaian tax resident who controls at least 10% of the capital of the Moroccan company, a tax credit shall take into account in addition to any tax for which the credit may be allowed. Moving on, iFlix, the world's leading subscription video on demand service for emerging markets, has introduced onto the Ghanaian market a new platform to help promote local content. The platform serves as a digital hosting and distribution channel for Western and Asian dramas obtained through partnerships with over 150 studios and content distributors globally, including MGM, Disney, Warner Bros, Paramount, NBC Universal, Fox, CBS, BBC, Sony Pictures and Discovery. Country manager of iFlix Ghana, Abna Bryant, speaking at the launch of the application in Accra said, From today, consumers could sign up for one month free trial through iFlix platform or by downloading the app to their phone or tablet from the Google Play Store or Apple Play Store. It will give them unlimited access to thousands of the world's best television shows, movies and more, he said. He said their presence in Ghana and on the continent demonstrates iFlix confidence in Africa, adding that Africa was without question one of the world's most dynamic regions with an astronomical growth in population driven by a strong youth ratio. Given that in 2020, Africa will have 720 million smartphone users, Mr. Brown said iFlix Ghana was taking steps to meet the entertainment needs of those growingly connected viewers. There is something overwhelmingly exciting about operating in an emerging market such as Ghana, where innovation can leapfrog decades of development, he added. Still in Ghana, Ghana's Registrar General Department, RGD, the body responsible for registering businesses, has successfully implemented an online registration of businesses, issuance of certificates to commence business, and the registration of marriages. The online operations of the RGD, which faced some challenges initially when it was deployed in 2014, is now fully accessible online. This allows prospective company owners to go online and register their companies and make payments without having to visit the offices of the RGD. The paperless system at the department is in line with government's commitment to deepening the paperless regime to improve the ease of doing business in Ghana and to enhance the business competitiveness of the country. There are also a number of functions on the new platform which are supported by a number of services online, which allow company searches, reservation of company names, and the booking of marriage ceremonies, amongst others. Linked to the RGD portal is a fully functional e-payment platform, which allows payments to be made in the course of online transactions. Another interesting new feature introduced by the RGD is the process that facilitates the search or request for data regarding companies registered in Ghana by the deployment of the eShop information platform. The eShop platform is an end-to-end -end registration portal developed and deployed by the GCNet as part of the broad World Bank-sponsored eGov project. It is worth to note that currently the RGD systems are integrated with the Ghana Revenue Authority with plans far advanced to link up with Ghana Investment Promotion Center in the exchange of data to facilitate the ease of doing business in Ghana. The data exchange is to encourage a paperless registration and a tax regime aimed at significantly reducing administrative and operational overhead costs. 
Founder of Africa's former largest hotel group, Protea, and chairman of Bond Hotel Group, Mr. Otto Stelic, has revealed that Nigeria's hospitality sector offers the fastest returns on investment globally. Stelic announced the emergence of Bond as a soon-to-be leading brand across the country. He announced that with its experienced personnel, Bond Hotel Group is well set to dominate the luxury hotel segment of Nigeria's hospitality industry in 2018 by adding eight more hotels to the 12 it currently manages, including six Protea hotels across the country. Stelic said Bond sees itself as a continental operator in Africa, which remains a challenging, interesting, and exciting place to operate a hotel. In terms of tourism and hospitality potential, he noted that Nigeria was investment viable as a developing country with over 180 million people population and a recovering economy. He added that Nigeria, in order to grow to its full potential in the industrial and manufacturing side, will need to expand its hotel base with consideration on important factors such as the kind of hotel and how it's been set up from the foundation. He said, hotels which are strategically open, in other words, the way you open a hotel, what kind of hotel, who is going to be your market, this kind of hotel usually provides a return on investment to the owners and those who invested their monies well before international norms. So in Nigeria, you can make a return on investment after one year, whereas internationally, it usually takes three to four years before a hotel starts to settle down. Government needs to create tangible incentives for the tourism and hospitality industry, such as a dedicated fund from the central bank with low interest rates, as well as access to land and infrastructural support like water and electricity, he added. And finally this week, Safaricom's Spark Venture Fund has invested in the largest agricultural input supply chain platform in Kenya, iProcure. Through accrued efficiencies, it also offers farmers discounts between 10% and 20% every time they purchase farming products. Nicole Galata, Chief Operations Officer at Procure, said, At Procure, we are all about optimizing rural supply chains. We build both the supply chain technology in addition to the underground infrastructure to ensure smallholder farming communities get the inputs they require on terms that are convenient and affordable. Farmers access the platform through a dial prompt on their mobile phones, and then they select the input they would like to buy. They then receive a voucher which allows them to claim the inputs from an iProcure farm depot or collection point, currently across counties in Central and the Rift Valley. Africa seeks to increase agricultural output in Kenya, which has remained comparatively low to other countries due to challenges including access to and use of quality input. Bob Collymore, CEO of Safaricom, said the Spark Fund was started with the aim of supporting emerging startups that use technology to transform lives, adding iProcure will be instrumental in harnessing the power of technology to improve Kenya's agribusiness processes. Started in 2014, the Spark Fund is a $1 million venture that sought to make late C to early growth stage investments in startups using mobile technology as an enabler. It has invested in six startups from the over 600 applications it received. iProcure is the sixth and final Spark Fund investee. That concludes the stories of the week. Please stay tuned for a recap. Ghana Morocco moves to enhance trade relations. iFlix to use digital platform to market local content in Ghana. Ghana completes transition to online business registration. Nigeria's hospitality sector offers fastest return on investment globally. Safaricom Spark Fund invests in agri-tech startup iProcure. To keep up with the trending business news in Africa, stay connected. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and connect with us on LinkedIn. This news and reports are called from Footprint Africa. For daily updates and more business news in Africa, log on to www.footprintsafrica.com today. Footprint Africa, business news made in Africa by Africans.